shouldn't take things so personally. Sophia Falcone was introduced as a strong-willed, fiercely loyal daughter of the Falcone crime family. Carmine Falcone, the Roman, was the head of Gotham's most powerful mafia family. These people, they're not stable, Papa. Sophia's first major role came after the murder of her brother, Alberto Falcone, and the rise of the mysterious holiday killer during the events of the long Halloween. Though her father initially didn't involve her in the day-to-day -day business, she made her ambition clear. Sophia wanted a bigger role in the family operation. Sophia's determination and desire for power are central to her character. After Carmine is gunned down, it becomes clear that Sophia's willingness to protect her family's legacy is relentless. She returns to Gotham after a brief absence, and that's where her story becomes more deeply entwined with the dark events surrounding the Hangman murders. Sophia's connection to the Hangman killer begins in the sequel to The Long Halloween titled Batman Dark Victory. After the downfall of the Falcone crime family, another serial killer rises in Gotham, this time targeting Gotham City's police officers. The hangman leaves behind a calling card, much like the holiday killer before him. The signature involves hanging the victims and leaving a note with the hangman game puzzle. These puzzles gradually spell out a message as the killings continue. At first, the murders appear to be a vendetta against the GCPD, as the victims are those officers who supported Harvey Dent's prosecution of the Falcone family. Sophia Falcone emerges as a potential suspect due to her vendetta against both Gotham's law enforcement and Batman. But, as with many Gotham mysteries, the truth is far more complex. As dark victory unfolds, Sophia Falcone is revealed to be the hangman killer. Her actions are driven by revenge, anger over the fall of her family, and her desire to destroy those responsible for their downfall, including Harvey Dent, who becomes Two-Face, and Batman. Sophia's physical prowess matches her psychological manipulation. Even though she's wheelchair bound after sustaining injuries, including a spinal injury at the hands of Catwoman in The Long Halloween, she uses this to her advantage. Sophia manipulates others, pulling the strings behind the hangman murders. The plot reveals that her brother, Alberto Falcone, was almost manipulated by Sophia during his time as the holiday killer. Sophia's duality, her ability to appear vulnerable while being a cunning and ruthless killer, makes her one of Gotham's most dangerous adversaries. She is driven by the desire to resurrect the Falcone Empire and enact revenge on those who played a part in its downfall. As Hangman, Sophia escalates her attacks causing chaos in Gotham. Batman works alongside a newly established Robin, Dick Grayson, to uncover the truth behind the killings. Sophia's hatred for Batman grows as she blames him for the destruction of her family's criminal empire. However, her obsession with restoring the Falcone family's power blinds her to the inevitable downfall she faces. Sophia's final confrontation with Batman occurs after she's unmasked as the hangman killer. Her plan unravels when she is revealed to have manipulated both Gotham's criminal underworld and its justice system. She meets her end in dark victory, falling to her death while trying to kill Batman. Though Sophia dies in dark victory, her impact in Gotham City and its criminal landscape endures. The Falcone family, once the ruling force in Gotham's underworld, is left fractured after her death. Her role in the Hangman killings is remembered as one of the darkest chapters in Gotham's history. In later comics, her legacy lingers. The power vacuum left by the fall of the Falcone family allowed for new criminal figures like Black Mask and the Penguin to rise. Her ruthless pursuit of revenge solidifies her place as one of Gotham's most dangerous and unpredictable villains. Even in death, Sofia Falcone's name continues to carry weight. Her family's story is frequently revisited in modern Batman comics, and her role in Gotham's history is often referenced when exploring the criminal empires that shaped the city. Though Sofia's direct impact ended with her fall, the echoes of her actions from her ruthless ambition to the hangman killings continue to resonate within Gotham's violent history. This is Salfina Falcone. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.